Hi, Jocelyn Ireland here again to talk to you about citing sources. If you're new to citing, citing sources is hard. And you'll probably need some help. So don't hesitate to ask a librarian or a writing tutor online for assistance. To chat with a librarian online, go to the college website. Under Academics is a link to the library. And select Ask a Librarian. To make an appointment with a writing tutor, Go to Current Students, select Tutoring, select Make an Appointment, enter your M number, select Writing Consultant, and Off Campus would, will automatically be selected. If you're using the library website for your sources, create a Works Cited Entry is quick to get started. No matter which database you use, there should be a Citation Tool button. In EBSCO databases, the Citation button is on the right of the item record. If you have the article open, you can also get the citation with this page icon. Just make sure you select the correct citation style. In Gale databases, like Academic One File, there will be a Cite button above the article title. You can also get a citation from the items record and the results page of the library website. As you gather sources through the library website, copy these citations as you go and start building a Works Cited page. This is what a typical citation for a journal article obtained on the library website will look like. First, it will start with the author or authors then the article title in quotation marks, the title of the journal in italics, volume number, issue number, date of publication, a page range, possibly the name of the database you found the article in, in italics, a DOI or URL, and an access date. If there's a piece of information not applicable to your source, like if there's no DOI or a database name, just skip that part. Include as much information as you can. You can look at citation examples like this one on the MLA style guide that's located on the library website and the Writing Lab website. The Purdue OWL website is another good place for citation templates. You do need to proofread citations auto-generated by the library databases. The citation isn't always generated flawlessly. It's just something to start with that you'll need to double check with information provided in the item's record. Here are some examples of errors in a citation. So this article's title is Breaking the Filter Bubble, Democracy and Design. However, the citation that it generated put that article title in italics when it should be in quotation marks. And it also included the words report and author abstract. That's really not part of the article title. I know this because looking at the actual article, you'll see that this is the article title. And author abstract and report are really not part of the title. And with this citation example, for some reason the volume number is left off. I can see what the volume number is here, so I'll have to add that myself. And citations generated through the library website often don't automatically include an access date. So this is what I started with, and this is what I ended up with after my corrections. You'll see that I changed the article title and put in quotation marks. I added the journal's title in italics, added the volume number, and I also added an access date. When you copy and paste from a library database, sometimes you might get this weird shading in the background. To avoid that, when you paste it, Try right-clicking and choosing this middle paste option instead. And for this example, I just have to change some of the capitalization of does not need to be capitalized. And I'll have to add an access date. So here I have some examples of sources that I've gathered and copied pasted from the library website. But the formatting of my works cited is wrong. 
So let's talk about formatting on your Works Cited page. I'm going to select all text on this page, and I need to change the font style to Times New Roman, size 12, and I'm going to open up the paragraph dialog box by clicking on this button in the bottom right hand corner of the paragraph group. We don't want to add extra spaces between paragraphs, otherwise your citations will have extra spacing that's not supposed to be there. We want a special indent called a hanging indent, and we want our line spacing double. The word works cited should also be centered. All of your citations should be in alphabetical order by the first author's listed last name. So I need to move this one up. If you have a URL that's kind of making the, it's jumping down on a different line, you can add a space at an appropriate spot, like after a slash mark. I'm also going to add some access dates to these other citations too. And don't forget that in your header, you're supposed to have the page number and your last name. So to do that, I can double click in the header, select page number, top of the page, align to the right, and my last name. And notice how it defaulted back to the original default font, so I need to change the font style again. I hope this video gave you some ideas of how to find a citation through the library website and how to correct it. Again, don't hesitate to contact a librarian or a writing tutor if you need any help with citations. Take care and good luck.